All right, we're gonna jump right into part two here. Now, we just finished doing some uh, 47k ohm resistors. So the next, oh, oh that's gonna bug, bug me. Let's fix that resistor real quick. There we go. There's a, uh, not level with the board. There we go, now it's nice and straight. So, let's move on to the next series of resistors, which I guess will be 100k. We've only got three of those, so that'll be nice and quick. Pull those out of their tape, like so. And let's see, those three resistors are all right up here at the top. So it's 100k right there. Zoop. And then two more. Let me know what you think about these longer format videos. If you think I should continue rambling on through the project or if I should speed up the, the footage in post, being as I'm now using a, a different camera, I can't just use that really nice feature that I enjoyed on the iPad that got stolen. Um, had a time-lapse feature. I could just push the button and it would automatically time-lapse out and create a video. Um, You'll see that in my, my older videos. But now I've got a much higher quality camera, but it doesn't have that automatic time-lapse option. I could set it up to take a series of photos every couple of seconds. It would actually get really annoying with the shutter going off continuously, but uh, then I'd have to knit all of those photos together and post, and it'd be a lot more work. But. Uh, the 1080p 60 frames camera plus it's a very nice camera for just you know regular photos it's uh for those of you wondering it's a nikon d5300 picked it up at costco for quite a song last uh i don't think it was around january or february um put myself in in debt for it, got a Costco credit card, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm paying it off gradually. Uh, let's see, what's next? Um, what do we have on the board here? We're con continuing to work our way from the top down. Let's see, the next series of resistors in line would be 560 ohms, and there are a lot of those. So we're going to be at this for for quite a while. So we're just going to quick pull these out of their tape. This also has the added side effect of somewhat straightening the leads if any of them got a little little bent. Oh. Where did that one go? I felt it fall out and it sounded like it landed in the big pile of signal diodes here. Oh well, I'm sure we'll find it later. Either that or the resistors just kind of kicked the diodes. That's a possibility as well. All right, continuing on. I think that's my new um. I started managing to not use um so much and now I've started using continuing on when I can't think of something to say. I'll get used to this whole keeping up a cogent dialogue at some point. All right, so 560 ohm resistors, let's get started. So 560 ohm resistors are actually kind of pretty. They start with green and blue. In this case, they kind of go to a slightly more boring uh, color, which is brown. But the green and blue is nice. Like, uh, Green, blue, violet resistor would be kind of cool. What's violet again? Violet. Uh, so that would be seven. I should know that. Four, seven. Um, so it would be a six, or five, six, and then seven zeros. So, uh, oop, oh boy. Um, I just threw a resistor on the floor, and... It's going to be really hard to find. Um, bear with me just a moment. Well, I 
locate the earth resistor. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh. Right as I was deciding I'd um, turn off the camera, I found it. All right. Let's not throw any more resistors on the floor. kind of thinking about pausing while I place these because there are a lot of them and it's going to take quite a while but maybe I can just get into a groove and have it go smoothly so I think there's 560s on every stage and there are 10 different stages of three different color LEDs, so that's going to be 30 of these resistors. That's a lot of resistors to solder coming, down, coming up here. I may have to solder them in stages. Alright, let's keep going. Pardon me if I repeat myself while I'm thinking about stuff to ramble on about while I'm working on these resistors. Just kind of talk about whatever comes to mind while I'm doing these. And just keep, keep going. There we go. And another one. This is going to be a lot of soldering. But this kit is going to look really cool when it's running, so it's going to be worth every minute. All right. And that one goes in there. Almost there. I probably should have done a jump cut to having these all completed and placed, but uh, oop, that is not the appropriate place for that to go. There we go. One of the leads of the resistor was trying to go into the wrong through hole. That would be an unfortunate mistake, and s yeah, that would be a very bad mistake for soldering because it doesn't even go to the same tracks. All right. I'll just keep, keep placing, keep working on. Almost done. Another one here. This is going to be such a colorful board. I know I've said that before, but it bears repeating. It's uh, getting more and more colorful the longer I work on it. It's going to be quite satisfying when it's finished. All right. I just had an interesting idea. If any of you have seen a kit online or on eBay that you might be interested in seeing constructed on the channel, Go ahead and drop a suggestion in the comments um, if and where I can afford to do so. I will attempt to fulfill kit requests. Be kind of a fun little viewer interaction thing, I think. All right, we're almost done. Got nearly all of these placed. Let's just uh, get the rest of them. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to solder and clip these in stages. I may not be able to get the iron into all of these leads. All right, only three left. Oh, I've got a bunch more on the table here. Oh, I've got six left. Okay, that makes more sense. 
Alright, I'll just keep almost done now. Alright, only three left. Don't need a signal diode yet. Those are going to be fun. Because there's going to be 30 of, at least 30 of those as well. In fact, there's going to be more than 30 of them because I think there's... Uh, oh, I guess there aren't any. Oh, yeah, there are s some up in the, the filter stages. But All right. And one last resistor. Oops. Placed there. Oh no, I'm wrong. Where's the other one? There it is. Almost forgot one. Thankfully, the fact that it was missing stuck out like a sore thumb. Okay, so lots of soldering to do. Let's just. work our way around. Soldering the joints on. I think I'll kind of work from the outside in. Like so. A little, a little stingy on the solder on that joint. Tip's getting a little messy, so I'll have to clean it off just a second here. There we go. All right. Now let's see if I can do a roof. No, I really can't. All right. Well, let's just let's trim the leads we've got so far. I don't know if it's coming through on the microphone, but uh, the leads are being very musical. They're pinging and making little tinkly noises as I'm trying to trim them off. Oop, there goes another piece of wire to find later. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. All right. Let's... Keep moving on. 30 resistors times two leads is 60 solder joints that I'm going to have to do all at once here. Well, not all at once, but you know what I mean. working the way around and continue trying to figure out things to talk about. I had a really random dream the other night. Oh boy, he's talking about dreams now. He must be losing track of subjects. Um, I was thinking about a time a while back when I was playing that PS3 game, Little Big Planet. Really, very fascinating game. It's open world, well, not open world, but physics puzzle sort of adventure game with, um, you know, a lot of pre-generated levels. But the the cool part about it was the um, the fact that you know players could build their own levels and share them online, and you know show share their creations and, and neat little things that they had created. It's a lot of fun. And I actually had some pretty pretty good graphics as well. But uh yeah I haven't heard anything about it in a long time. Just my brain taking a quick stroll down memory lane decided to 
pop some memories of Little Big Planet into the uh, little mental VCR there. There we go. Talking about a VCR, that's dating me. Yeah, I grew up with VCRs and laser discs. Boy, that was a, a technology that was well far ahead of its time. Um, but nowadays it's completely and utterly obsolete. Although it led to some pretty incredible innovations in optical data storage. But, yeah, we had a laser laser disc player. It was uh, always fun. You'd have to hop up every 45 minutes and turn the disc over, swap the disc. In the case of um, Star Wars Episode Four, we had uh, like a quote high definition end quote version of it um, with uh, far less compression. But I believe it had four or maybe even six discs. So you were jumping up about every 15, 20 minutes to flip or swap discs. So kind of interrupted the whole movie experience. But um, yeah, it was a very neat technology. Things sounded like a, well, our old one, it was this. Uh, Oh, what was the brand of that thing? It was a Pioneer. Uh, the first Laserdisc player we owned was a, a Pioneer. And holy mackerel, was that thing noisy when it would um, bring the when it would start spinning the discs up to speed. Uh, it sounded like a, a jet engine revving up. Once it actually got going, it would sort of quiet down, but. Uh, yeah, bringing those laser discs up to the speed so that they had to rotate um, requires a, a fairly high torque motor. I mean, you're talking about a CD that's, you know, I think it was 10, 12 inches in diameter. It's a very large CD. Some of you may have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Others will understand. And some of you may even remember seeing Laserdisc players in your science class. They'd uh, bring it in to play some sort of science video. I don't know why specifically science classes, but I remember in, in middle and high school, whenever you saw the, the Laserdisc player uh, set up, you'd know you were going to be seeing some interesting stuff that day because... That's how they showed you interesting science stuff that couldn't be shown in class. All right, so we've only got a couple more resistors left here. They're the other 2.2K resistors, so let's go ahead and strip them out of their tape. All right, there we go. Just polish these off. Do, 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 do. All right, so where do these 2.2K resistors go? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, they're just going to go right here on the base of the board. All right, 2.2K. This one's being difficult. Okay. I'll just quickly place these, and then we'll have all of the resistors placed. And then we'll probably, I guess we can throw the pots onto the board real quick. And we'll switch over to diodes. And then we'll work on the capacitors after that. And then we'll finish up by placing and soldering the LEDs and probably the electromechanical components. And then the project will be complete. Oh, and of course the voltage regulator is going to have to go on there at some point as well. Boy, I really wish my camera would give me some sort of 
audio cue when it has reached the maximum file size, but uh, yeah, um, today's jump cut brought to you by reaching maximum file size without realizing it, and also it allowed me to discover that I had placed some components incorrectly. Remember when I said I had the, the one 2.2k resistor that was out of place? Well, that's actually a 220k resistor. But the, uh, the orange and brown looks very similar on these resistors with the blue enamel. So the 220k resistor actually goes here, and then the 2.2k actually goes up there with the standard component color. So, um, if you were following along and didn't catch the mistake, you'll have to uh, desolder the 220k from the 22k position and put it back on just like I'm doing here. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. And then, carefully, Solder the 220k resistor into position. Alright, so that's that mistake alleviated. Alright, let's just quickly solder on these other 22k's. Which I got all bent and placed off camera because I hadn't realized that my camera had reached maximum file size again. Maybe I need to start setting a, a timer or something so that I can keep better track of my video length. Alright. So, there's those done. And, you know, with my file length having reached maximum size there. I think that is an indication that it is time to wrap up this part. So, whoops. I left a joint unsoldered. So let's go ahead and quickly solder that and then do the normal video closing mantra and then we'll move on to the next stage. So, if you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here will be a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting based on your watching habits. Over here is going to be the view meter playlist, and right here will be a link to my Patreon that you can use to help support videos like this one. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in part three.